Right, this is the top of the float bowl. Very, very simple valve. And when the float bowl fills, and I'm going to use English words, when the float bowl fills with petrol, the float bears on that clip there, which pushes a needle valve inside there and cuts off the supply of fuel to the float bowl. Right, well that's the top of the float bowl, you can see the brass float and the what I call a dash pot. It's got an oil reservoir on it and the top comes off, should come off fairly, oh yeah it will come off fairly easily and that will allow me to extract uh, the needle out of the the main body of the carburetor and will give me easier access on those horrible little nuts. Now that came off very nice and easily that org as well uh, the way this thing works it's a tapered needle that fits in an ole, a jet and when the ex engine accelerates it creates suction which lifts that needle making the hole bigger and opening up the airway a bit uh, it's got a dash pot on it so that it doesn't flutter that's a very simple oil uh, bath with a piston down the middle of it I'll show you that later but yeah that's the uh, that's the hole that the petrol comes sucking up through. Now different carburetors work in different ways but fundamentally they all do the same thing. They mix fuel and air and as a rule of thumb it's 15 parts of air to one part of petrol or gasoline. Uh, as a rule of thumb it's not exactly 15 to 1. If it were 12 to 1 we would call that rich if it were 18 to 1 we would call that lean uh, that lever operates a butterfly inside there that changes the amount of mixture of fuel and air mixed that goes into the into the manifold and into the engine so that makes the engine run faster develops more power this one with this funny bit of fishing line on this is it, it's not a choke although in a car it would have a la label on it saying choke what it actually does I don't know if we can see this the lights in the wrong place what it does is when that is lifted it pulls the center of that jet down making the hole bigger and richening the mixture for cold starting so that's that's in effect the choke it's not a choke a choke would be a valve that restricts the amount of air going in this doesn't this pulls a jet down to increase the amount of fuel mixing